Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a green eyeshadow. It's been a long time I played with a green eyeshadow, so I thought of doing that today. So we're just going to play with some greens and we'll see what we're going to create. So if you're interested in this video, then kindly keep on watching. But before we move into the video, if you haven't subscribed yet, please you know the drill. Tap on the subscribe button below and the notification bell as well so that you get notified every time I upload, okay? So let's move into the video. Priming my lids with the Zion Concealer as always. Priming your lips before eye makeup is very, very essential. Like, it's so important. You always need to prime your lips before you put on any eye makeup. Okay, guys, so we are going to be using the Sarat palette today. You guys can see it has some beautiful greens right here and the yellows as well. So we're just going to be mixing these. I'm going to be starting with this green shade, this dark green shade, the darkest of them all. I'm going to be putting that in my crease. Ooh, pigment. The green is very pigmented, but it has a lot of fallout. The fallout is small. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with this shade, this one, and carefully blend out the edges with it. So this is fine. I'm going to go in with this yellow shade and blend out the edges furthermore. Blend out this side as well. I'm just going ahead to build up the shade. I feel it's a bit lost. The deep green was a bit lost around the side. So I'm just going back in to build up that shade. So far, so good. Even though this eye is looking bad, I'll try and fix it later. But for now, I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to be using my flat brush and a concealer. I'm slowly going to mark out how I want the cut to look like picking up more of the concealer and going back in to define the line now drag the concealer to the lid So as usual, I'm going to take my blending brush and then buff out the concealer a bit more. My cut crease is not looking the same. I feel like the cut is not the same, but we're going to go with it. And I'm going to go ahead and use this lime green shade and I'm going to be packing that on the lid. I'm making sure there are no creases before I apply the lid shade. So I'm going to be defining the crease a bit more with the dark green shade I used. Okay guys, so I'm going to be going in with this yellow 
gel eyeliner from Inglot and this is in the shade 84 and I'm going to line my lash line with it. So I'm going to be going in with this yellow shade and just pack that on the liner to give it more pigment. Okay, so moving away from the eyes, I'm going to be doing my skin as usual and just wiping out the excess fallouts. I'm going to prime my skin and I'm using the Pineapple Cosmetics Primer to prime my skin. You can use my code to get a discount whenever you purchase from Pineapple Cosmetics, okay? Okay guys, I'm going to be using the Issa Indos foundation but I'll mix it in a little bit with the Beyond Beauty foundation. I'm going to go ahead and use my Pineapple Cosmetics Concealer just to highlight. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm going to set the concealer in place and you guys know what I'm using already. The Flawless Ivy Powder. This is in the shade Nutmeg. Setting the foundation in place as well. You guys know how I do my skin. So I don't think there's a need for me to be telling you what I'm using. <laughs> but just in case you're new here, I'm using the Flawless Ivy Powder. I'm setting my whole face with this. I'm going to bronze using my Beyond Beauty Face Definer. I'm going to pick up the bronzing shade and just bronze my skin. Not forgetting my forehead. Contouring my nose with the same bronzer. I'm going to apply blush, picking up the blush from the Flawless Ivy Palette in the shade Phoenix. I'm going to highlight and I want to try this highlight shade from the Beyond Beauty Palette. So I'm just picking up a little bit. Finishing off the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with the same yellow liner I used. And I'm using the dark green shade on my lower lash line. Applying mascara. I'm going to be using the Beyond Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade 17 and I'm going to top it up with the Beyond Beauty lip oil as well.
okay guys so this is the end of our green eye makeup look i hope you guys did enjoy this video and as always don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy the video leave comments and video suggestions you have as well in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in my next video bye